Reduced energy demands have been achieved at Archbishop Wake School based on the requirements to achieve a BRIAM Very Good status. BRIAM stands for the Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method for Buildings, which sets the standard for best practice in sustainable design and is a measure of the building's environmental performance. Zoned underfloor heating reduces the use of gas for the central heating system and is especially suitable for tall spaces like the hall. Heavy mass concrete walls and floors are required for the thermal flywheel effect and free nighttime cooling which evens out fluctuations of the internal temperature, helping to keep the building comfortable. High levels of thermal insulation have been provided to the external envelope. Airtight construction reduces the heat loss with air leakages. All the junctions were therefore very carefully infilled and sealed. The building was then specially air pressure tested. At Archbishop Wake School, natural and passive methods of ventilation have been utilised to their best effect. Some of the electrical ventilators to the toilets are run by small photovoltaic panels on the roof. Automatic temperature controls for the heating system have been linked to the Computerised Building Management System, or BMS, to ensure thermal comfort. Automatic window actuators to classrooms are used for window opening and closing for ventilation, linked to temperature and carbon dioxide levels. Solar shading is provided by the large overhanging eaves to the roof and the walkway grillage without detriment to the views out. Optimum sized windows and roof lights have been provided to all teaching areas and offices for natural lighting to save on the use of electricity. Glare control is provided by the installation of window blinds so that VDU computer monitors and interactive whiteboards can be easily seen. Low energy light fittings have been linked to PIR passive infrared controls. Lights will only come on if someone enters the room and if the natural daylight level is inadequate. The heavy concrete structure to the teaching spaces prevents one potentially noisy classroom from disrupting a neighbouring classroom. Sound absorbing ceilings, carpets and furniture help to reduce the reverberation time so that the teachers can be heard clearly by the pupils and vice versa. Water is a precious resource. Water saving systems and self-closing taps have been provided to reduce the amount of wasted water. Surface rainwater drainage is connected 
to underground soakaway chambers to reduce the general risk of flooding. Low maintenance and long life construction have been achieved. Robust detailing generally minimizes the need for repairs. Sustainable timber is used with the cedar cladding, pine windows, doors and internal screens. The new school has been built on a brownfield site rather than a greenfield site, thus avoiding the loss of any countryside or agricultural land. The impact on the biodiversity has been minimised. Bat and bird surveys were undertaken prior to the building works to avoid any harm. Planting of new trees was then undertaken to provide new habitats and enhanced site ecology for teaching pupils. Walk to school and cycle to school schemes are part of the school's green travel plan. Space has been provided for green recycle euro bins, for waste paper and cardboard. There is easy access for disabled people. Entrances have level thresholds and extra wide door openings to allow for wheelchairs to enter. Disabled toilet facilities are provided to each floor level. For the visually impaired, design measures include colour contrast between building elements such as door frames and door leaves. A special voice sounder has been provided with the lift. For the hearing impaired, electronic loops for hearing aids have been built in at the main entrance and to the main hall. Fire alarms include flashing light beacons. Enhanced acoustic measures have been provided for one severely deaf child, with additional sound absorbing panels installed in one reception classroom, one infant classroom, the ICT suite, one small group room and to the main hall. Further measures will be taken each year to other classrooms as the child moves up the school. The project team included architect and project manager, the Genesis Design Studio, quantity surveyor, Cyril Sweetgreen, structural engineer, AKS Ward, services engineer, Hector Simmons, Acoustic Consultant, Chris Redding & Associates Fire Engineer, Trenton Fire CDM Coordinator, Cyril Sweet Group Approved Building Inspector, Butler & Young Brian Assessor, DBK Cartographical Surveyor, Digital Terrain Surveys Landscape Architect, Hilary Martin ID And of course, Main Building Contractor, InterServe project services.